Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I'm showing you some of my jelly prints I still have. Still have a lot and I will work on them. And um, if you want to see how I made them, I can. you can have a look at the video. I will show here in the on the right top corner in my iCard here. And I put a link into the description box. I made uh, a video about how I made them and yeah, <clears throat> I made quite a lot and still working on them. So I protect here the, the white edges because I want to use that as a um, picture wall hanging. So we'll frame that later. And that's why I want to have the white, white areas clean and white. So these are the Tim Holtz dies and I use another of my prints to cut them out and I use this stencil. This is um, Andy Skinner stencil and I um, yeah, I go over with uh, that's a titanium buff. It is at the um, liquid or fluid acrylics from Golden in Titan buff because I didn't want to have this um, stencil or this uh, print very very obvious so very I wanted actually yeah I wanted to have everything a bit more in a in a monoprint style so that's why I cut the um, butterflies out in, in the other in the same color sort of the same color it is these are book texts I um, torn I've torn apart actually and I use here four pieces and glue them down with my fluid um, mixed or fluid medium from uh, from Liquitex. After everything dried I go here over with my pit pen in um, the big brush in, in some red. And I thought that might be enough but then yeah, I went for this dark grey. I wanted to have a bit darker but it's still monochromatic isn't it? So because white and blacks are allowed in, in monochromatics, it's still, yeah. Okay, a bit of uh, black splatters here with acrylic ink and a fan brush. And after that dried, I took the papers off. No, I didn't. <laughs> I etched here with a black um, pit pen my um, butterflies, but then I take it off. And I had this overhanging pieces, this book texts, and I thought I wanted to cut them off. But then I thought, no, I really like that it's going over the edge. And I left it, glued it down, left it like that. Because I want to put my butterflies down um, uh, overhanging as well. So, perfect. So I left it like this, glue my butterflies down. The um, lower, on the lower part, it's already down. I put something on and uh, for white to keep it down okay so I'm going now to the other one the blue one I protected it in the same way and I had um, something left over here a little piece and got three of the circles cut out <clears throat> of them by hand with the scissors so it's not a die cutter so or, or it's not a die so. then this uh, stencil this circle stencil I use that's from Prima don't know what it called so and I use the same paint, it's the Tight Buff from Golden. As it, because of the same reason, I didn't want to have it too dominated, dominant, and I wanted to have it really more into the background, a bit muted the colors. So I go over it several times, and um, that's it. Again, a bit of splatters here with my fan brush. It was a bit too dry. I reactivated it with water and then it was too much, but I left it like that. That's okay. That's what can happen. So, okay. And this Nautilus um, stencil I use um, with dark grey paint. It's from, yeah, it's dark grey acrylic paint. And I put five down and I afterwards, um, why later I will do an... A few more because it wasn't balanced to me because I'm using this stamp here stamp it down and uh, colorize it and then 
to I wanted to put it on that little piece but somehow it didn't yeah I couldn't balance it out so that's why I put more of the stencil parts on top simply use here distress marker and put something down and spread that and blend that out with my water tank brush not a lot more I didn't want to have that too colorful very or more pale on the pale side cut it out it always takes a while and edge it here with my black pit pen with a big brush. So in the shading I use, for the shading I use my uh, Stabilo All and I pick it up from the pencil as you can see here to go in or around the circles here for shading. I want them to stand out a bit more and um, now you yeah and I go around with a fine liner here with a pit pen in F but that's it so no of course not I'm talking rubbish on and I'm always too quick and I'm already at the next step um, as I said before I needed more of my stenciling here because somehow it wasn't balanced to me I want to have the uh, stamped or the cut out piece there on top so and that didn't work that's why I needed more of the stencil parts and I let have that raised put that down with this dimensional um, double side tape and I'll go back to my butterflies and uh, go on with shading use it in the same way the stabilo one take it directly off from the Stabilo and go around my butterflies. I'm staying in the colorful part. I will shade the outside parts as well, what I use, as you can see here now, for my pastel pencils from Derwent, because if, every, or if something goes wrong here, I could erase it. So I blend it out with my blending stamp and that's it. So it gives them so much more dimension. Okay, I frame everything. Really like to do that. And brings everything together, I think. And I will do that with the other one as well. But first you will see this close up here. And um, I will both frame <clears throat> and that will hang in my new office as I told you before we are moving with our office and we'll get smaller offices with only two people in it and so we can individualize it a bit more you know when you're with six you have to yeah, look after the others much more but only with two you can compromise much better with that so there will be quite a lot of my painting hanging and that's the other one so that's it I hope you like it and give me some thumbs up leave a comment if you want to I thank you a lot for watching and I hope I will see you soon bye bye